All right, let's talk about the album Directions. I thought it would be easier to make an album than it was, but I, I would say it's, it's definitely a challenge in multiple ways. I'd probably say that I'm about the eighth of the way through making my album, which would probably mean it's going to take forever. It's, it just takes forever. But the thing is, you got to keep it basic. A lot of times you just keep expanding and expanding on ideas and they just turn into mud and it's kind of frustrating if you just keep trying to develop something and it goes nowhere <clears throat> yeah <laughs> no I really um, here's some of the conclusions that I drew the first one was that I had to mix some of my drum beats together and that would help the drum beat seem more complex so i did that and it depends like on certain drum beats you can split it half and half between one drum beat and another and just keep it as one piece and just play it through like that and it works but not usually um here's the problem with it usually the beat actually doesn't last that long before it loops um, on most of the songs that you probably hear on the radio like it's probably the same way because I would say after four bars of four quarter notes you pretty much had to lay down the beat there you know which is how big the drum machine is there's a button for every single one of those quarter notes so you only get one pass to make it right you know, and then you try to add on to it. The problem is the bass lines don't stick. The bass lines won't stick because the groove is too long and then it's just crap. <laughs> so what you have to do, or what I'm trying to do now, is basically do most of the bass line along with 16 quarter notes and and that's it you know for the fills yeah we can use the other beat but the other beat it can't show up too often or it starts messing it up also I could change the song halfway through the song to the other beat it depends on on the beat you know it just totally depends on the beat as far as making the bass lines I made them simple in the beginning so it would be easier and then I try to make them more complex the bass lines are just starting to get back to simple again and the thing about making the bass line with the drum machine is that you have the choice of landing on where the drum lands or landing in between it or landing on it and in between it but it's cool to play bass with drums because if you can actually time it right your bass your bass notes are part of the drum note you can you can let the bass note be the part of the end of a drum beat you could let it go bass line then fire off a drum beat it's just amazing how many different options you have and the other instruments we, we haven't really sprinkled in you really have to have a solid drum beat and bass line and then you can pretty much easily fill cording and solos obviously I do too many solos um, but the cording I'm working on the piano I'm working on cording on the piano sounds pretty good it's easier than the guitar to make chords with but it's just it's not the same I, I want some guitar cording as well but also piano piano is like almost better sprinkled in than all of the chords I'm not sure I haven't I haven't totally I can't play chords on the guitar but when I do <laughs> I'll just get somebody else to do it.